Garrett from Garrett's Guitar Lessons here, and today we're going to be going through Free Ride by the Edgar Winter Group. All right, now, uh, the intro is going to come back towards the outro, and the timing is going to vary between the two, but the riffs are exactly the same. So, what's going to be happening here is I'm going to be starting wherever, um, and kind of sliding up to the ninth fret on the fifth string, and then going to the seventh fret on the fourth string. And then, I'm going to be kind of taking this shape right here, and sliding it up two frets. Now what is that shape? My second finger is on the second string, eighth fret. My first finger is kind of barred on all three, although you don't necessarily have to have it here. It will come in handy in a minute. Um, on the seventh fret, fourth, third, and second string. And my third finger is on the fourth uh, string, ninth fret. And we sliding up two frets, all right? Now, the timing here is gonna be one and, and then two is when that slide's gonna happen. So the slide happens on beat two. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. All right, now after that, I'm gonna be going down to back two frets to where I just kinda slid up to. Now I'm going back to that, and then be taking off my finger for that seventh fret on the uh, fourth, third, and second strings. So that is. I also forgot to mention that we're going to be strumming that. Once we slide up, we're going to be strumming it uh, three times up there. So here we go. Now the strumming pattern there is going to be down, down. This is just what I do, um, and it sounds pretty accurate to me. Down, 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 up. And then be down. After all that, we're just going to add four little uh, wiki wikis. All right, so that's just me muting everything and just going down, up, down, up. Now the second half is going to be very similar. All right, except that uh, our slide and our hammer-ons are going to be taking place at a different place. So we have sliding up to that ninth fret on the fifth string, seventh fret on the fourth string again. Now my first finger is going to be barred on the fourth, third, and second string on the seventh fret. I'm going to hammer on. That first shape that I went through, so my second finger is going to be hammered on on the second string, um, uh, eighth fret, and my third finger is going to be on the fourth string, ninth fret. I'm going to go down, up again um, once we go there. So I go back to my first finger bar on that seventh fret, and then I'm going to slide all the way back down to this A, which I'm going to do with my first finger on the fourth, third, and second string. Again, at the end, we're just going to add four wicka wickies. And uh, down, up, down, up. The strumming pattern is the same on that second one that I did on the first one. Down, down, hammer on with the down, and then down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. All right, so here's that whole intro. Now the verse is going to be just a D5 chord. So this is just like a D chord, but we don't hit the, the first string. So my second finger isn't even on. Now my second finger is going to be kind of doing this bend that's happening on the fifth string, third fret. It's not really a bend uh, to any specific note. It's more of like a curl up. So it's kind of hinting towards that fourth fret there, but it doesn't quite reach there. Down to an A. All right, my A again I'm using as my uh, first finger, just kind of... Um, Barred on that second fret, fourth, third, and second string. So it goes. All right, so then just a couple strums after that. After that, we're gonna be hammering on that same shape that we just went through in the intro. That is my second finger now on the third fret, second string. My third finger's on the fourth string, fourth fret. So that's gonna be hammer on with the downstroke, and then 
up, down, and then take it off for an A again. So the first part, the second part is A with the hammer on, a couple strums after that. So the first as a whole, Now the chorus is F sharp minor, which is my six string bar chord of the second fret, minor chord, so my second finger's off, G, A, little riff that happens after that, F sharp minor, G, D, another little riff, F sharp minor, G, and then D again. All right? So for that F sharp minor, I'm gonna be hitting the bass note twice, and then strumming the whole chord, G, same thing, uh, bass note twice, and then chord, and then A. Now I'm gonna be kind of sliding up for my third fret. Here's the riff. Now what's happening there is I am sliding up from the third fret to the fourth fret on the fifth string. First finger is gonna to go to the second fret on the fourth string, and then fourth fret on the fourth string, back to the second fret, and then back to my fourth uh, fret on the fifth string. All right, so that is third to fourth on the fifth string, uh, two, four, two, on the fourth string, and then back to the fourth fret on the fifth string. So that first kind of part of the chorus, F sharp minor, G, A. Awesome, now for the D, it's gonna be very similar. Two bass notes and a strum for the F sharp minor and that G, and then D, bass note, bass note, strum, and then the riff is actually that everything's exactly the same, except now I'm going up onto the, um, uh, fourth, fourth string, third to fourth, and then third string is going to be second, fourth, second, and then back to my fourth string and my fourth fret. All right, so second part, F sharp minor, G, D. Now for that F sharp minor, I'm going to have, or for the last part of the chorus, it's going to be F sharp minor, bass, bass, strum, G, bass, bass, strum, and then D, mute, D again, all right? Now the outro is gonna be exactly like our intro, except that now that slide, the first slide, is gonna be happening on one, and the second hammer on is gonna be happening on one. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. Sounds exactly like how uh, how the intro sounded, except that, like I said, that slide is happening on one, not two anymore. So next, I'm going to be going through the solo that happens after the first chorus. That is going to be. And then it's going to begin with some uh, ghost notes that's happening on the third string. The ghost notes are going to have uh, kind of, they have more of a rhythmic effect than they do a note effect because you're not playing a note. It's just going to be a mute. So that's going to be mute, note, mute, note, mute, note. That's going to be down on the mute and then up on the note. So I'm going to be starting off with a mute on the third string and I'm going to be going up on the third string, fifth fret, and then mute, fourth fret. Again, uh, still on the third string. Mute third fret, mute second fret. So mute fifth, mute fourth, mute third, mute third, mute third, and then mute second. Now I'm gonna be hammering on the uh, second to fourth fret on my fourth string, and then be hitting the third string, second fret twice. Now we. Bending up on the fourth fret, third string, bending up, and then it'll be bending up and then down and back to the second fret on the uh, second string, and then be sliding up. I use my second finger from the fourth to the sixth on the third string, fifth fret, second and first string, and then bend up on the eighth fret, um, second string. And I'm gonna be aiming for that A note right there, and then fifth fret on the first string. Fourth fret, bend up on the third string, down, and then to my second fret on the uh, third string. 
Now, most of that stuff is happening in our A major pentatonic there, uh, which is my pinky on the sixth, uh, sixth fret, sixth string, because it, or uh, fifth fret, sixth string, because that's what I want my uh, to think about my um, my major pentatonic scale. So my kind of my G shape pentatonic right there. But most of the solo happens in A minor pentatonic after that. All right, so here's that whole solo um, in its entirety. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video, and uh, check out Gears Guitar Lessons for more free lessons and resources.